Hi, this is Nick. The thing that I remember most about my father was his pursuit of true excellence. And he would always tell me, if you're gonna do something, do it right or don't do it at all. And for that reason, I think he would be so proud of this very truthful, authentic, and passionate effort to honor him. Please watch this, thank you. There's a, a state of mind that you need to do anything in the art forms. It's called the alpha state. It's sort of like thinking off the top of your head, relaxed concentration. And when you can't get that naturally, you might resort to alcohol, drugs, anything that will give you a chance to get into alpha. Okay, we've got some good stuff now coming up for you. Most talented jazz saxophonist has ever played that instrument. Someone who added an extra dimension to the sound of the tenor saxophone in jazz. One of the all-time saxophone greats. But here is the great tenor saxophone virtuoso, Stan Getz. <laughs> The cool school, everything was understated, underplayed. I found the saxophone he played, I found the right mouthpiece that he played, I put the right reeds on. You can't sound like him because you just can't. He was a jazz player with the melodic sense that drew people in. He was a phenom. 15 years old, he was discovered, and he was off on the tour. And that was just the beginning of the life of a great genius musician. Dan and I still, so many years later, only had eyes for each other. I was intrigued by the bossa nova in the first place, but Stan never wanted to make any of these records. Blame it on the bossa nova. Stan did not have a thought of going to the Grammys. It was just the opposite of the person that he wanted to be seen as. I have distinct memories of walking to the school bus in the morning. He had broken the trophies and stabbed them in the lawn. And we walked past them, my sister and I, just bewildered as to what that was about. He had an adoring family, he had a successful life, but the addiction was stronger. You have to be a little bit crazy and also a little bit intelligent. The thing that's important about Stan Getz is his melodies set a mood that makes you just have feelings. I don't think I knew anybody else who could, who could play a ballad, you know, and, and just make you want to cry. That's the highest compliment. Hi, I'm Art Brown, a producer of Chasing Alpha. Stan Getz was one of a kind, one of the greatest jazz musicians of all time and one of the greatest artists America has ever produced. You know, when the Girl From Ipanema won Record of the Year at the seventh annual Grammy Awards, music was evolving in a huge way. Other nominees for Record of the Year included The Beatles, Barbara Streisand, and Louis Armstrong. Stan was always moving, often to his own beat. He was funny, passionate. He'd do almost anything on a bet, including swimming the Thames River at 4 a.m. He was also unpredictable as he struggled with his personal demons. We came to Kickstarter to tell the Stan Getz story, independently and truthfully, to a community who would enjoy it. I mean, what better place than Kickstarter where independent films flourish every day? Do you know that Stan actually coined the term cool? He really did. After jamming one night with Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker, Dizzy said, man, that was hot, hot, hot. And Stan said, no, that was cool. So in honor of that, please take a look at our cool rewards. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support.